Well, many parents ask me, when should I start reading to my child? Or, I read to my baby, but he seems more interested in chewing on the books than listening to the stories. And, of course, when your child picks up a crayon that first time and scribbles something and says, this is me, is it time to bring out flashcards, buy more crayons? Well, there's a lot that we have to share today, thanks to a wonderful and fascinating new book, some facts about how children develop literacy. And the author of the book is Dr. Richard Gentry, who joins us now. The book is called Confident Readers, How to Teach Your Child to Read and Write from Baby to Age 7. Dr. Gentry, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. So let's talk about, you know, you have your book organized in a lovely way, which is, you know, makes the most sense to me too, which is, is chronologically. And of course, you know, a lot of parents are very confused about at what point early on from let's that phase zero as you call it birth to age three what your child is doing and and what how you can in fact encourage the skills that we're talking about these literacy skills so what is a child most likely to be doing let's say when it comes to writing at that during that period well um, of course reading to the baby starts uh, first starts at birth and but art activities start early as well uh, Parents can point out illustrations in books to babies as early as four months of age. And uh, babies begin to develop the muscles that they need for writing, even when they're fingering around with their food, <laughs> finger painting uh, before age one are pre-writing skills. So the point is to start early. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and then when you talk about developing muscles, it's also these brain muscles, so to speak that babies are developing when you're holding them and learning and, and reading a book together is, isn't part of the experience that they're, that they're really you know, developing these connections in their brains that we now know get laid down very, very young. Absolutely. So important to um, do things like read to children and they're, they're, even when they're tasting the book, that's how they're exploring the book and, <laughs> right. and that will soon lead to page turning. Right, wonderful. So uh, there's a lot more, ha babies are a lot smarter than we think. Yeah, definitely. A lot, a lot, of, a lot more going on that lay down the foundations from, for literacy early on. Right, well I think some of the most exciting period in this development is this next phase, phase one, three to five. Um, tell me a little bit about what kids during that period tend to do, or can do. Well, kids in phase one have just learned to write their name mm -hmm. and it really is a uh, revolutionary time uh, uh, for the first time they are using print uh, mm -hmm. they're not not just pretending to write and although their uh, letters are random mm -hmm. they can begin to uh, construct stories the Phase one sample that we uh, that we're showing is a gr actually a grocery list. Oh, great. And it it's it says milk bran flakes donuts and it's a wonderful <laughs> uh, way for kids to begin to explore literacy. Great. And then um, you also recommend that you choose books in terms of what parents should do. Easy books, and then of course encouraging that kind of drawing and writing. And and I'm sure asking them to describe what they're writing is is a really important way of helping them make that connection. What about when they're in, they're in the next phase, Dr. Gentry, when they're three to six? What, what is your child generally doing? So this is phase two, and the sample that we're seeing, um, uh, one of the things that's amazing is that you can begin to read what your child's mm -hmm. writing. Uh, for example, this one says Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and what we want to do with children in phase two is read a favorite book over and over mm -hmm. so that they can memorize it. It's, calling memory, it's called memory reading, but it's actually the jump start to real reading. And of course, we should praise them when they un begin to understand that be uh, the beginning letters and match them with sounds. Real, yeah, great. So let's talk about phases three and four, um, which is we've kind of glommed together before to seven years old. What is what are kids generally doing at this time? Well, for the first time, they begin to write um, with a le in phase three with a letter for every sound, and you can actually read it. For example, the tooth fairy story. One night, I was in my bed, and the tooth fairy came. Uh, uh, you, you don't even have to have a picture, you can read that. And ultimately in phase four, they move to more sophisticated stories, 
chunking. Um, my feet are tired. I wear size three. <laughs> my feet take me everywhere. Uh, it's just great fun to watch children develop literacy, and we can see the phases unfolding if we look at what they're doing in their writing. Right. But they, I, you, have, of, you have wonderful advice in your book. I wish we had more time. I have to say that I thought that the, some of the advice was the best I'd, I had seen in any book about um, Raising Confident Readers, the name of your really excellent book. Dr. Gentry, thank you so much for joining us. For more, be sure to pick up Raising Confident Readers. It's on shelves now. Um, because it gives you a lot of very practical things to do to help kids develop their most important skills. For more parenting tips, go to abcnews.com or check out my website, annplachettemurphy.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Annie PM. For everyone here at ABC News Now, thanks so much for watching.